Good morning, my name is Sean Webb. I'm your Director of Community Engagement in the Educational Foundation, and you're watching Classroom Conversations. Coming from you from a different place today, we'll talk a little bit about that in a second here, but uh, we are the Community Engagement Show that embraces everything great going on in the Coachella Valley, all the fantastic things that are going on with our students in Desert Sands, and talk about all the beautiful things in our community. Today we have a fun show, but we wanna go ahead and make sure to thank all of our sponsors that make this possible. Desert Sands Unified School District, thank you very much. Uh, the Educational Foundation, they, they wrote a grant with the City of Indio that allows us to be on StreamYard. Thank you for that. And we'll have the Indio update here shortly. Prep Sports Weekly, Kevin Pillow, you are a true friend of education. Thank you for producing our uh, starring in our halftime show. And CoachellaValley.com, Craig Campbell, you are a true friend to us. Thank you for allowing us to get the word out on your platform. But let me go ahead and read the mission statement. The Desert Sands Educational Foundation secures funding and awards money to provide supplemental resources that enrich and enhance student learning in Desert Sands Unified School District. And their vision statement, in partnership with public and private sectors, Desert Sands Educational Foundation sub financially supports creative and innovative programs to enrich and enhance the educational experience in the academics, the arts and extracurricular activities that engage all students and staff in DSUSD. Okay, let me go ahead and bring on one of the, the uh, true star of the show. We'll bring on our own very own Chef Mary here. Good morning, Chef Mary. How are you? Hey, good morning. I'm doing well. It's um, Tuesday and I'm not working today. I have the day off. Okay, well, I'll tell you, I've got a little bit of a different day off. You see, I've got a change of environment here. Um, as you're aware, um, I am home because my family and I are dealing with the old little uh, COVID thing going on and so forth. But, uh, you know, fortunately, we're getting healthy and... Uh, Geez, I'll just say it's something else to be home and being told to stay home. But you know what? We're getting healthy for one another. <laughs> I know. I thought that way when I was in Bear when they uh, first closed us down in March and uh, I couldn't leave the house. It was like, it was weird. Oh, no. I'll, I'll tell you, I've, I've definitely experienced some symptoms where it's, uh, I, I would I have allergies all the time. I don't explain it's like the worst allergy season ever that I'm experiencing yeah. right now. I'm having to take medication that constantly making me sweat and so forth. But you know what? We're getting healthy. We're, we're ready to go. You know, you always, go. always fun. Always fun. But Mary, did you know uh, this week in Desert Sands, not just this week in Desert Sands, but this month in all of the country, we are celebrating everything education. So let's let's talk here. May 1st, that was School Principals Day. Oh, wow. This week is California Teacher Appreciation Week. National Teacher Appreciation Week is this week. Uh, student uh, Teacher Appreciation Day is today, and the list goes on. It's Guest Teacher Week this month. It is School Nutrition Week this month. Teacher Day is today. You know, it, all of those things are listed here. We just want to say thank you to our community at Desert Sands and our staff. Uh, these are the different businesses throughout the community that offer our teachers 10% discounts. Oh, and that's awesome. I just want to say thank you to all of them. And uh, no, th this here is, uh, this is going to be appearing over at some of the school sites, uh, you may notice some of those businesses. Like I said, those are the ones that give ten yeah. percent discounts to our to our area, um, to all of our staff, and so forth, just by showing your ID badge. But uh, this is signed by our cabinet, our Desert Sand Superintendent's office, uh, and his cabinet, and so forth, the assistant soups, as well as our school board. So the the, the staff will definitely be seeing this uh, coming up in their offices and so forth. Yeah, so pretty exciting to celebrate all our staff. We even have you know. One thing we could talk about, Mary, our day is May 13th, School Communicators Day. You're on that Ooh, team. Oh, that's our day, huh? Yeah, well, I know in, in the San Diego area, all the radio stations have been encouraging um, people to write in about their teacher, oh. uh, their special teacher. And exactly. one of the shows that she is actually a kindergarten teacher. And so I think this whole week she dedicated to asking parents to, you know, send a thing about a teacher. And then I think they're going to do something with it later on. So... It's okay. on our radio system here that this is an education weekend. Oh, we no, it's 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 Teacher Appreciation Day today in, this, in nationwide. And then yeah. all of these weeks are being celebrated uh, throughout the whole month. So it's pretty exciting. It's like I know one of the things that's going on, I, I heard an advertisement. I haven't got it confirmed, but I heard an advertisement about McDonald's. I believe if you show identification for teachers today, you get a free meal. Oh, that's um, awesome. As well as a uh, quick quack uh, car wash. Teachers yes. you get a free car wash today. Um, thank you, Biff Christmas. Uh, you sent that to me as well as my superintendent sent me that. Uh, yes, that's uh, free car washes for people. So pretty exciting for educators today. Anybody in DSUSD staff uh, or heck, any teacher, uh, just show your identification. It shows you're an educator and you get some you get some uh, perks and benefits today. 
Yeah. Well, I, you know, I had a chance to go visit um, Chef Kim at the Vista High School because we competed okay. with her at, you know, at La Quinta okay. and uh, got to go through her kitchen and meet with her. And she wanted to say hello to you. Okay. Because um, I think we met her at one of the competitions and then we met her at a meeting and she actually came over to the desert to see our school and uh, a great program, a really yeah. fun kitchen that feels like a restaurant. And she's been doing that for 11 years and she is by herself instructor okay. and chef. Okay. okay. So a shout out to chef Kim teacher extraordinaire. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Hey, uh, you know what, Mary, let's, let's talk and uh, get excited about our gala coming up. As oh, yes. you know, we have our Royal Sands gala coming up. Uh, let's see here. Let me go ahead and share this slide here. The Royal Sands Gala coming up on June 4th. If you want to go ahead and purchase tickets, I'm going to make sure that people can see this and uh, see the link here. But I'm going to put the link there direct so people can do it in the comments. But uh, yeah, our gala is coming up. I want to make sure to, uh, you've got something special today, Mary. As you know, as a board member, we talked about, uh, a foundation board member, we talked about how uh, we were going to give away two tickets to a staff member. And the staff member had to be a uh, part of our employee uh, recognition, uh, not a part of our employee, but part of our employee deduction program. So these are staff members, Mary, that go ahead and like, I, I have $10 taken out of my check every month that goes right to the foundation. Oh, and we have awesome. almost 175 staff members that do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the wheel of names where they are going to, we're gonna find out who the staff member is right awesome. now, who's getting two tickets to the gala. Oh, that would right. be, that's good. That's so good. I like yeah. That. You know what? This is a great experience. Great time for everybody. Uh, but not only getting two tickets to the gala, they're getting tickets to the VIP after party too. Oh, so Mary, that's pretty cool. You know, you've been to the Renaissance Esmeralda. You go yes. down the stairs. We're at the gala on the left in the ballroom. And then afterwards we get stir nightclub. So that's gonna be cool too. So oh my God. You, that's you a great, that's me, a, yeah. You tell me when and I'll spin it. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. Who is going to be the staff member that gets two tickets to the gala? Uh, come join us on June 4th, where we honor uh, Mr. Bailey, Walter Clark, as well as the Tennis Gardens. And this is going to be Catherine Wirtz. I know Catherine Wirtz. She works over in our uh, student assistance program um, and with child welfare and attendance. I've known her a long time. Oh, uh, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Catherine Wirtz. You have two tickets to the gala and VIP party. You'll be partying it up with us uh, James Bond style that night, Chef Mary. That's all. Awesome. That's, that is really awesome. I mean, not only to work for the system, but also financially contribute. That's the last of a double, oh. double dedication. So congratulations on that. Lastly, I've got one more slide before I bring on uh, Brooke here. Let me see here. Uh, Mary, you know, we have the, the privilege of having a, a local Barnes and Nobles here in the, the Coachella Valley. Yes. The Desert. And uh, a, a local author uh, who wrote the book Tactical Boundaries. And then his wife wrote Your Guide to self -satis uh, self uh, Actualization. Uh, they have a book signing this weekend. His name is Dean Del Gucci. And he's got a book signing at Barnes & Noble that's going to take place on May 7th from 1 to 4 o'clock. Here's the beautiful thing, Mary. If people go ahead and bring this coupon that I have up on screen there, and also I'll, I'll be uh, sharing it via social media, they can bring this in and donations will be made back through Barnes & Nobles to the Hunter Lopez Scholarship Program that we have with Desert Sands. Oh, Central that is Foundation. awesome. Yeah, so anybody that goes in this whole, what is it, May 7th through the 10th, Go into Barnes and Nobles, have one of those coupons with you, and a donation will be made. As well as if you go in this weekend from May seventh, one to four, you can go ahead and get a uh, an autograph from the author, Dean. So that that's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Yes, I, I agree a hundred percent. You know what? I think it's time for us to go ahead and get the Indio update here. Let me go ahead and bring on Brooke. Good morning, Brooke. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Still working through this eye situation, but feeling a lot better. So it's nice to see you both. And Sean, I know this is just going to be a blip on your health radar. That's right. Just a blip. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So uh, you, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and bring up your slides here. What do we have going on here? I see this is the, the teen center. What's going on here? 
A lot happening at the Indio Teen Center in the month of May and only one day closed, same day as Desert Sands Unified. We follow that schedule for our 8th through 12th graders who take part in free activities all through the month after school from 2.30 to 7.30 every weekday. We've got boxing, we've got studio, that means making music, learning to play instrument, culinary arts, so much going on. This is a free service for anyone, regardless of city of residency. So again, if you have a child or if you are in grades eight through 12, please check out and you can scan the code there on your screen or just go to indio.org slash teen center to learn more about basically signing up. Uh, this is this is a great way maybe to fill in the gaps for some after school time and um, get involved with, with other people who have similar interests. You know, I'm, I'm kind of looking at the menu. I'm, I'm, I'm a food guy, so I'm looking at the menu here. And Mary, if you notice on the menu that Wednesday is like nacho day. So they Ooh. go with different types of nachos each Wednesday. So I see loaded nachos, bacon nachos, epic nachos. And then, what is it? Thursday is like different nachos. designer hot dog day. I love that. Oh, that's uh -huh. my favorite. Hot, hot dogs. dogs and so forth. so I, I love that you guys have themes and so forth uh, where you guys can uh, play around with that. And, and I'll tell you what, Brooke, I'm going to put it out there. If you need help with the, if the city needs help with developing these fun menus, I would love to get her involved. <laughs> um, we'll certainly tap into to Chef Mary's skills for sure. Mary. I mean, I guess you could be the taste tester. There Mary. you go. Oh my gosh. That pigs in a blanket. We made those for a party recently for a bunch of adults. I made like 300 and they were gone in a minute. They were like, oh my gosh, we haven't had these for years. Oh, yes. <laughs> That okay, nostalgic so. food. Yes. Speaking, speaking of pigs in a blanket, uh, there's some great pastries right there. Oh, oh, I know. I love that's my favorite. Yes. And Sean, I know that you've consumed maybe one or two of them. Yes, <laughs> yes. My my daughter and I were there uh right before we got COVID. Uh, we were there la uh, last Sunday and uh, enjoying it. And so oh, forth. you're patient zero, is that right? <laughs> who knows? Who knows who patient zero is, but these darn <laughs> things keep on popping the wrong way, but whatever. Yeah. But, <laughs> but tell us more about the certified farmer's market. This is happening every Sunday from nine to one o'clock, shortening the hours just a bit as the days get a little bit warmer in the afternoon too. But this is certainly a resource to the community and a way of getting people downtown to experience some of the fun things that we're trying to do there. So yes, it is a farmer's market. You can pick up items like avocados, uh, what are those tomatoes, tangerines, um, and pastries, but you can also grab some, oh, I just, oh, oh, oh calamity. Um, you can also uh, grab some breakfast. You can grab some lunch to go. Uh, all the vendors are certified, which means that they are responsible for what they grow or what they sell. Uh, so this is not resale in any way. Uh, they are literally putting their hands on all the objects that are there. And there's also free yoga on the lawn. So this is kind of unique to farmer's markets in the area. It's not on an asphalt surface. It's actually on a lawn, which makes yoga that much more fun and also cool. So free yoga for family friendly, all ages at 10 o'clock every week. And we'll have to double check, but for the last few weeks, they've been doing a special where if you come at nine o'clock, you pay $10, you get a more intensive yoga class, but you also get an artisan crafted coffee from either 818 or 760 coffee. So, you know, those can, this can be pretty pricey, right? Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> earn your calories so there. You. <laughs> it's kind of a neat way to, um, to get involved, be outside, um, and, and get a little bit of movement going. Um, and in addition, there's also a story reader. So if parents want to come and let their kids listen to some books being read out loud, that's something else that's going on. Also demonstrations. And I wish I could remember the joke. It's this is a total dad joke. So maybe, you know, it, Sean. I'm just oh, kidding. We'll see. We'll see. But, <laughs> But essentially, I, I was going to make a joke about fungi because there's a new mushroom vendor, Kenyan okay. <laughs> mushrooms that's being added to the farmer's market, too. And okay. um, so every week there's there's somebody new. This is the only farmer's market in the desert that is going through the month of May. So come okay. early. Uh, While well, it's still cool, there's some chairs, there's some tents and tables for you to sit, relax, live music every week. It's a lot of fun. It's at Town and Bliss in downtown Indio, which is just adjacent to City Hall. And I'll, I'll say that uh, you mentioned it, but I'll also mention it again. Mary, what's beautiful about this uh, this farmer's market, it's all on grass. 100% of it's on grass. So it's oh, nice that's great. Yeah. 
There's something and, about walking uh, on grass. Exactly, exactly. And like I let Brooklyn take off her uh, her Crocs and she just started running around the grass. So yeah. it's just very comfortable to be out there. So I love that the city's doing this. Absolutely amazing. Um, and it, you know, it is a uh, dog friendly. I like yeah. the way we put it for Chella a couple of weeks ago. Cute, cute puppies allowed. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I saw this coming up too. Yes. So this is May 14th, also in downtown on Smur and Miles, AKA Smiles, part of Smiles India. Smiles, part of India, it's Chef Mary. Disneyland's Jazz Cartel. Uh, so very popular. They they do um, perform at Disneyland quite a bit, and they're going to be performing free outdoor concert starting at six o'clock on Saturday, May 14th. And something else that's also kind of special that's going to be happening there is a ribbon cutting for our brand new Indio sign. Okay. So, you know, I should have dropped one of those into the box, but maybe next week I can do that. Um, if anyone was at Coachella, or stagecoach, yes, yeah. Yeah. you were. I think you saw the um, large India sign. We have another one that's in downtown India. We also have a new placard where you can upload the photos that you might take there. Okay. And so we're gonna ribbon cut that and just sort of generate a little bit of excitement. It's gonna cap off Economic Development Week. We'll be talking about some of the new businesses that have signed leases to open up in downtown India. And the first 100 people that show up for the actual ribbon cutting, not only are we gonna have like a really fun visual display, that's just a surprise. You're gonna have to go to see it. But the first 100 people who get there are going to walk away with a little bit of a souvenir for the evening too. Free, so, free swag is always good. Free swag. Free swag is always <laughs> so good. please show up on time, six o'clock, May 14th, downtown India. If you haven't been to one of our center stage events before, they are a lot of fun. Uh, in addition to just the live music, there are food trucks. There is a beer vendor for the okay. uh, for those who are interested in that sort of thing. And also a bunch of cool games. So tailgate party style games, giant Jenga, um, cornhole, those sorts of things. So the kids are kept really busy too, if they don't want to just chill and, and uh, watch some music or dance. Okay, excellent. And you also have some other ones coming up throughout the month of uh, May June and June. July. We've got the space program for rock and roll and salsa. So different themes every month. We're going to take this through the summer and we're going to cross our fingers for some cooler days in August and September, but that's why we kind of pushed it a little bit later in the day too. Yeah. Um, but uh, lots of different things for people to do. It's a really cool space, also grassy area. And uh, you'll sort of come, you know, every couple months and see the transformation that's taking place downtown. Excellent. Well, Brooke, thank you so much. I, I want to say, oh, no, we have one more slide here. Most important one where you can get all the updates. Yes. Where you can get all the updates. Yes. Indio Live. Uh, so these are activities that are good for the whole family to do a lot of free activities, some updates on what's happening around uh, the city. We've got an update on our murals because that's a question that people ask us about a lot. Um, we had a ribbon cutting for Sarvela K, which is a uh, piece that came from the 2019 Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival that has now been installed at Dr. Carrion Park. So cool little tidbits, whether or not you live in Indio, uh, very useful to kind of just find out what's happening in the Valley's largest city and home to 19 Desert Sands Unified <laughs> schools. That's right. That's right. And uh, Chef Mary, you'll appreciate this. One of the things in the Indio Live this week I saw was uh, an advertisement about the Futures Fair that we're hosting on May 14th at Indio High School. Uh, for the, anybody that wants to participate, contact me direct, uh, sean.web at desertsands.us. But the Futures Fair is for anybody who wants to have, display your business to talk about um, potential job opportunities, mentoring opportunities. For oh, that's awesome. And Sean, so did that's you already fair. talk about the Vans contest? I know we haven't yet. I'm going to bring that up too, but go ahead. That, that's in Indio Live as well. There is a link there, although I'm sure you'll throw it in the in the chat as well for people who yeah. are watching right now. Um, this is the contest for those Indio high schoolers who have been working with their art instructor over the last couple of months. They've been coming in on Saturday. They've created these amazing designs. I can see Sean's brain's working right now. He's He's working feverishly to get these slides up here. Um, but they have created these fantastic shoes uh, and they have made it through many rounds of competition with Vans and they are, um, you know, possibly going to be produced and they're all centered around Indio. That's yeah, and right. I voted. I voted for them. You can vote. You can vote up to one time per day. And I believe yeah. 
uh, the sixth that the, is the day where they'll be deciding. Yeah, but these are just amazing. What, what's fantastic is fifty thousand dollars can go to their art program, which would yeah, be absolutely incredible. fantastic. And from what I understand, they want to use that for more three uh, D graphic arts uh, for their school. So. Yeah, I, I I personally would buy those shoes. I don't know if I sport them pretty well, but I would I would buy those. I would, I would buy them and wear them. <laughs> I think a, a lot of people would buy those shoes, and yeah. you know, that's something too. I've always wanted to work on here, and I bet. And maybe if you guys are listening right now, those people who are watching, um, why don't you drop me a link right now? We have been talking about for quite a while putting together uh, Indio Monopoly. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, that'd be fun. You know, Palm Springs yeah, has fun. one, but there yeah. are so many points of interest in Indio uh, that I think it would be really cool. I want to buy Burger Box. That's the first <laughs> one I want to buy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some of those like local institutions that have been around for so long too. Uh, Shields, right? You can go yeah, get a date definitely. shake. Um, you can literally go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> well on that note brooke thank you so much for joining us today uh, always a pleasure uh chef mary anything for uh brooke before we uh let her go here you know i've always wondered like where, what is the history of of the name indio oh well indio in spanish means indian okay okay so you know there is a long history with the desert Kuya tribe uh mm -hmm. within this area and so I think it is a, you know, a nod to the peoples who are, were here before and continue to have their influence felt, uh, not just in this city, but, you know, it would make sense that uh, the area's largest geographically and by population city, really the, the first um, incorporated city would um, pay homage to the Desert Kuya tribe. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Wow. Well, geez, that was right on spot, Brooke. That was an amazing answer. I love it. Thank you. I, and speaking of, um, yes, please sign up for Indio Live because, as I mentioned, there is a mural update and there's something very specific about the Desert Kuya tribe and the murals within the newsletter. That okay. is your tease. And kind of a, a neat sort of, um, I, I, in writing, we call it a red thread. Okay. That's sort of closing the loop on those sorts of things. So, Yes, Indio Live. And if you don't have time to scan it right there, uh, you can also just go to the front page of Indio.org and it is uh, available. Uh, just scroll down about halfway down the page. Okay, excellent. Well, Brooke, thank you so much for joining us. We will catch up with you next week uh, with another edition with the Indio Update. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. All right. Okay, Chef Mary, let's see. What else do we have today? Um, I was told by our communications team that I definitely had to share our social media we got some cool stuff going on. Let's see here. I think we should have one of those mural people on. To, I've always wanted to know how do they get from here <laughs> to the whole side of a building. Uh, so it I'll, fascinates I'll, me. I'll teach you a trick as a classroom teacher. When I used to do bulletin boards, I would just take the old overhead and I would just keep blowing it up. And just draw it along the chalkboard. Yeah, yeah. I used a chalkboard back in the day, or a whiteboard, or even oh my, gosh. my bulletin boards and so forth. But yeah, I would love to uh, to hear what the, how they do that and so forth because I, I I've worked with one of our artists, Keith. I believe his name is Keith Bloom, uh, who's done a number of murals on our campuses. Maybe we can see if we can get him over the summer when things kind of slow down a little bit. That would oh be yeah, that would be awesome. Because I know yeah. in Twenty Nine Palms they have tons of murals there that range from. You know the desert scenes, the military scenes, or whatever, okay. and they're just—it's okay. they're incredible. You know when you go through and you see them, uh, you just wonder like, how do they get all of that on a wall? You know when they have a person like a face and you have the eyes and the nose and that things. It's incredible. Yeah. No, we you know uh, one of the biggest people out here, biggest organizations that help us out with the desert sands with our murals is. Uh, different grants and organizations that we write for. And I got to say, uh, Brianna over at the Anderson Children's Foundation, I we we receive a number of grants every year from them and a lot of them fund directly to our murals. So I want to say thank you to them while we're while you're talking about it and so forth, um, because they're the ones that make it happen. But yes. uh, Mary, let me go ahead and bring up our Facebook page here. Like I said, uh, uh, the, uh, Jan and Mary told me that we had some great things going on here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let's make this a little bigger. This is one classroom at a time. You know who Walter Clark is. Yes. And we're, we're honoring him at our gala. Well, one classroom at a time, just honor one of our teachers with uh, 3D printing uh, for reasons to learn from mistakes. This is a teacher at Desert Ridge Academy who's receiving 
$500 in its classroom from Walter Clark. So thank you for that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on on our Facebook page? This is, uh, you know, we've been pushing this out. You know, thank you to all of our media sources that have been helping us, you know, from KESQ to NBC to uh, Desert Sun to anybody in social media that's helping us. This is that project for Indio High School students. Uh, make sure you go there. I put the link there in our comments where you can vote up to one time per day uh, per email address, actually. So, uh, Mary, like you... Uh, I have like four email addresses. So if you want, in essence, you can vote four times. Oh, so yeah. uh, I did I did Steve too as well. So we did a bunch Oh, perfect. Of perfect. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And then also you want to definitely see this, Mary. This was the event oh. that took place with La Quinta High School. And then I'll, I'll flat out say they highlighted a lot of the culinary program here. But as you know, Mary, coming from La Quinta High, it's more than just a culinary program that helped out with this program. Yeah. Public Service Academy, ROTC, where they work directly with the Guy Fury Foundation. Get this, Guy Fury, yeah, Guy Fury Foundation, where he came in and they fed 400 first responders, vets, as well as active military. So this was Chef Wood and the culinary students. This is Mr. Schmidt, Mr. Diaz and his public service students. This is uh, Master Sergeant Murray and their ROTC kids, uh, as well as, you know, Dr. Wilson being the principal and uh, yes. uh, Dr. Shantz being overseeing this program. But just a great, great opportunity for our students to work with the Guy Fury Foundation. He even gave him a little pep talk, too. Which is I hope cool. so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought, you know, if I'm going to feed 400 people, I better get at least a pep talk from Guy Fury. Yeah. And I think he did, probably could deliver a good one. Oh, no. He, I, from what I understand, it was, you know, I, you know me, I had a little, uh, I had a little FOMO going on, fear of missing out. I was supposed to be there running all the volunteers, as you know, and so forth. We had some people that were scheduled to be there. And unfortunately, I couldn't be there because of what's going on. Yes. But, uh, no, I, it, I saw the pictures. Looked like a great event, and yeah, when, I mean, when what he, a great thing for students to meet someone uh, of his caliber who came from you know a, a basic, very small beginning as a contestant on a food show. Yeah, you know, yeah. and to come to where he's got you know his uh, his drivers, di drivers, diner, diners, drivers, and diners, di diners, drivers, and dives. Uh, dives which, yeah, from what I understand, he filmed another episode while he was here local, and uh, one of our Desert Sands families. Um, Owns a, a local restaurant here. It was actually a feature in one of those. Um, oh, that's awesome. The name is, uh, draw, I'm drawing a blank right now on the name, but they were just featured on um, one of their episodes. But let me go ahead and bring up our Twitter account here. This is always exciting to highlight too. So Chef Mary, as I told you, today is a Teacher National Teacher Day. Uh, so we've got various principals and so forth that are highlighting this. You got Mrs. McCormick over at Tom, Thomas Jefferson Middle School thanking teachers. Got our uh, Assistant Superintendent of uh, Educational Services. Dr. Kelly Mae Vollmer, giving a little highlight to our teachers there too. They're talking more about our shoes here. Thank you, Shad Powers uh, with Desert Sun, highlighting our shoes. Uh, Want to congratulate uh, Indio Middle School <coughs> for the, uh, we're at the Mental Health Symposium where they were presenters there. Want to thank them. Uh, here's another school, Mrs. Joyner over at Monroe Elementary, giving a shout out to our teachers and so forth. Uh, let's see here. Another shout out to speech language pathologist. Pathologist, geez, the way I'm speaking there, you you, you can see that I definitely uh, could use some benefit of that. But uh, no, I want to give them a shout out. Like I said, the month of May is celebration all education. Yeah. So pretty pretty outstanding teacher appreciation week. This is a shout out from uh, one of our staff members here. So some great things going on uh, with uh, the month of May, uh, as I shared. Uh, our entire district is uh, celebrating it for the entire month. So pretty outstanding. It is like a like one of the on one of the Facebook pages from my high school, Great Mills High School. Okay. They were asking um, who was your teacher that made the most impact on you when you were in school, and I always remember Mrs. Slotkin, and she okay. was our English teacher, typing teacher, shorthand teacher, bookkeeping <laughs> teacher. Because we uh, really didn't have, we were a non-accredited high school. There was like 30 kids in my class. And mm -hmm. at the time, we didn't have a teacher. It was whoever showed up would teach that class that day because the school okay. was so small. And oh, I just wow. remember her. She was this very short lady. And um, it was incredible what we learned from her and how I took all of that information for years. You know, like okay. I still probably can do some shorthand. Um, oh, I'm, I'm sure you can. Mary, you know, I'm to sure learn typing and, and, and writing. Bike. 
Yeah. Hey, we always have to love it when our, our uh, family and staff member and community members are watching. Uh, this obviously is directly connected to National Teacher Week for Thomas Jefferson Middle School and yes. uh, Doc, uh, Dr. Uh, DCA. I uh, want to give them some uh, shout outs there. So awesome. thank you very much. No, I always love to highlight those and so forth. But Mary, I, geez, you know, we for me being at home, we still have a lot of great things to talk about. So thank you for joining me this morning. Well, listen, it was my pleasure. And, you know, for me, it's like I'm still at home. Well, I'm going to work this week, but I do this from home in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, I was going to try to take it to work one day with me and just have a different background. But um, the arena is coming to the close of our season. And okay. we've had a great season, and a great staff. And um, it's been it's been exciting. This was a, a new venture for me to take on um, to deal with an arena. I had no idea what they do. Um, we're trying to open up some field trip opportunities for schools to it. come and just see actually how all this plays out because it is incredible that they can turn the arena from ice hockey to Disney on ice to soccer. Well, you know, you, you speak of that. So we have Acrisure arena that's going to be opening up here for the firebirds. I and heard they're, that. They're talking, you know, you know, they're going to have over 200 events a year, I believe. Yeah. It doesn't leave many days in between where it's empty. So uh, with that being said, I, I can't wait uh, for our interaction and our fun that we'll have with them. Uh, one thing I'll tell you, a uh, big announcement that they just released last week, and he's one of our uh, future parents. Uh, a lot of the parents work at this bank. First Bank is going to be the bank that represents um, Acrisure Arena. And they have a big announcement and party. And unfortunately, I can't go to it tomorrow because I'm still. Oh, no. But uh, they, <laughs> they have a big announcement with the community where they're going to be the bank for them. And uh, like I said, uh, it's just great what they're doing for our community and us having the partnership with them. And I, I can't wait for us to be able to set up field trips like you're talking about. Because, you know, they're going to have, you know, it, it being an arena with 11,000 people that could sit there, there's going to be a couple hundred full-time jobs that are available for our families. Oh, easy. I mean, just in my culinary department or my, our culinary department, we currently have over a hundred employees. Oh, there you go. Um, and I would say the size um, of our arena is very similar. Yeah. From cashiers to bartenders and we're short 60 people. Exactly. So we normally would have, you know, uh, two to 300 people because of all the shifts and whatever. Um, and, you know, so we get a lot of people from, you know, the uh, temporary hiring agencies. We get those guys to come okay. in. And sometimes we're able to transition them over to full time. But um, I mean, it's a great experience for anybody that wants to do it. You you don't really get to see the shows because you're working, but you hear the music and you see the excitement and having Disney on ice for five days, uh, watching all the little kids run all over the place and and the parents enjoying watching. I mean, it was just pretty exciting. Um, I agree. No, no, so I, I, if, if I were it. to tell if I were to tell any student, give any piece of advice, you know, I, I uh, this is advice from Sean Webb. Go into hospitality for at least a year or two. You'll learn everything that you need for life. Exactly. Yeah. And I think you you learn how you need to be. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Interact with people, interact with business, yeah. how to conduct yourself uh, in every setting. Um, I, I think that's very valuable. And we're very lucky here in the Coachella Valley where we have so many opportunities for that. Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, I want to give one more plug, Mary. Uh, May 14th, we have our Futures Fair. You're, you'd be excited to know that we partnered with the Greater Coachella Valley Chamber, the Palm Desert Chamber, as well as Chandi Group. We're going to have that job fair over at May 14th at Indio High School. So, uh, you know, there are going to be hospitality opportunities there. But this is kind of cool. You'll love this. We had the uh, the Living Desert sign up. They're looking for people to hire. Good. S SA Recycling. I was like, okay, a recycling facility out here needs, and they, they're starting south. They're starting job starting at twenty dollars per hour for our high school students. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, these are great, great opportunities. So, yeah. yeah. Mary, well, what's, nice, what's nice with these with a lot of these jobs? If you are going to school, or you can only work certain hours, like in the arena, uh, we're able to accommodate maybe a mom who needs, you know, only hours at nighttime, or maybe a Saturday, right. Sunday, or maybe a morning shift. And it gives them the opportunity to pick up, you know, extra money uh, and have a job. And like some of our moms are, are just really glad to be there and be away from being a mom. 
you know, or if you're a, over your overactive uh, middle aged guy that just likes to work, I mean, go get some extra hours here or there too. <laughs> <laughs> or an old lady who doesn't know how not to work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, geez, Mary, always a pleasure to see you. Uh, you why don't you close us out for today? I, I will tell our people at Classroom Conversations here we will not be live on Thursday. I do have a principal meeting that morning. Um, but uh, actually, as you know, Mary, uh, well, let's see. I hope I don't have the principal's meeting because that's a, that's because we get to do a, to do a little bit. It's definitely the most memorable 40th for, but uh, uh, we won't be live on Thursday, but I'll see you again next week. We'll, I will do that. Well, everyone have a great day. Um, find something to pay forward. I think it's kind of fun to pay forward. You always know, see people struggling in the grocery store lines and putting things in their cars and people with walkers and things like that. And even though they may tell you they don't need your help, I see if you just go over and hold the door, uh, it makes a difference. And it makes a difference because we're all going to be there. Um, True. And so be kind. Be kind. I love it. Chef Mary, you have a great day. To all of our viewers on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, uh, this is Sean Webb, your Director of Community Engagement. Thank you for watching us. We'll see you next week.